Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, it's nice to see you in this occasion I'm Zena Najwa, want to tell you some of it are mentioned in Al-Quran Karim I will give information about them Allah has created a variety of fruits for humans on the earth, including me and you. Some of them are mentioned in Al-Quran Karim. As Muslim, we must know well. Do you know the kinds of fruits? And can you mention them? I will tell you and remember. The first is tin fruit. It is mentioned in Surah Atin in Al Quran. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Watini wa zaitun. Sadaqallahul azim. Tin fruit can grow well in tropical region in Asia and the Middle East. The benefits of tin fruit are to increase immunity, kill cancer cells, treat wound and as a medicine for anemia. The second is banana. This fruit is mentioned in Surah Al-Waqi'ah 29. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim wa talhim mamdud sadaqallahul azim Banana trees are very easy to grow in Indonesia. And we can find them in every season. The content of nutrition in bananas is very much, such as potassium, fiber, vitamin A, and C. Next is olive. This fruit is mentioned in the first of Surah Atin. The use of olive is very popular in the world. It's good for health and beauty. It produces oil that has content almost like birth milk and can carry it off of the wound from our pelvis, prevent heart disease and cancer. Then, I'm sure women will like this. It's good for beauty of skin and hair. All the fruit is the pomegranate. This phrase is mentioned in Surah Al-An'am 151. There are three types of pomegranates in Indonesia. Red, white, and black pomegranate. The benefits of pomegranates are to treat diarrhea, hemorrhoids, and bridge lodginess. Next is cream which are mentioned in Surah An-Nahl 11 and Surah Al-Baqarah 266. The benefits of grapes are to keep blood sugar stability and it has substance to reduce many kinds of disease in our body. Last fruit, I'm certain you can cast it well everyone knows because it is mandatory menu in Ramadan. Yes, date. You can find about date in Surah Maryam 25. It's good for anemia and can be digested and absorbed well by our body. Here are some of it that can be found in Al-Quran Karim. Finally, I would like to say sorry if there is mistake in my speech. I'm Zena Najwa. Thank you very much. See you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.